Hi, welcome to this tutorial today. What I'm going to show you how to do is make a stopping animation when you go from run or walk to idle. So I've already made this, but I'm going to show you what, and then I'm going to show you how I did it. First, I want to show you what it looks like. So if we go from running, we can then stop and we'll play a little animation. And that way, you know, you don't just kind of snap to idle. So a lot of games like Assassin's Creed use this. So you can also do the same from walk to run, but for this we're just doing run to idle. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you how I did this. So what you're going to need is a animation blueprint. Okay, I've set up a blend space, which you should already have. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I made a video before then. And then you were just going to go to your animation blueprint. Okay, you're going to go into your state machine. And then you should have, by default, you should have an idle and a run to walk. Um, if you have not separated these, I would separate them. The idle would just be the idle animation, and then the run to walk would be the blend space. Okay, so in order to do the stop, it's pretty simple. You just need to add a new state machine, and in there you're going to need a stop um, animation. So in this case, I have this right here. Um, I recommend doing in place, as I have not tested this with root motion. Uh, so yeah. Put this in here, and then in order to get it to trigger, you're going to want to make a run to walk uh, connection. Do not connect. Do not directly connect run to walk to idle. That will cause issues. Go to this state and then back to idle. So what I did was I just got the speed or the velocity of the character, which I am getting right here. It's just the vector length turned into speed. Okay, and I just said if it's zero. So basically, if they have stopped. Um, I did less than or equal. If you have negative values, you might want to change that to just equal. Um, once it plays this animation, and the way I'm checking if it's finished playing, is I'm using the time remaining. So if you just go to time remaining, it should get the state it's coming from, and you'll want to do this. Don't do time remaining ratio, just do time remaining. And then you're going to get a less than, um, again, a less than or equal, uh, less or equal, okay? And this is how, how long in seconds for the animations return is finished. Um, so I'm doing it when there's only 0.2 seconds left of the animation, we go back to idle. And that's basically it. That's how you set it up. If you want to do the same to walk to run, you would just put an idle here, and then uh, you would put the opposite here. So you'd go from idle to run to walk with the state machine. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how you make this. Um, so a lot of AAA games have this, and you just stop. So yeah, have a good one. Thank you.